What are your thoughts on India's one nation, one policy approach for vehicle electrification? Well, you know, the minister already spoke about the impediments, but also let's talk about the potential. Here. I mean, what is very, very clear is that the, the larger ecosystem sort of has to keep or work in tandem with what's happening to the, to the main class. As I was looking at some reports and they talked of the fact that by 2030, what is right now was say one and a half percent market share on two wheelers could move to as high as 80 percent on electric uh, sort of two wheelers. Now, I mean, uh, all of this is obviously being supported by a huge concern around, uh, I mean, uh, the environment. I mean, uh, whether it is the normal pollution or as the minister mentioned in terms of the noise pollution. Um, I mean, also in terms of the social and the uh, and the economic impact that it has. Uh, I mean, uh, we also saw very, very recently Niti Aayog actually made sort of uh, requesting RBI to actually sort of look at categorizing electric vehicle financing as a priority sector lending. So there is a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, and, and uh, I mean, uh, both Mr. Munjal and Mr. Dwayar Rajan mentioned, there's, there's, there's a lot of political impetus around this. And then all of this actually sort of goes out uh, very, very clearly, directionally, sort of in, in terms of a huge impetus to this. So presently, I mean, you know, if one was to look at it beneath, I mean, you know, the, the policies which are being issued are the same policies as the issue for the other motor vehicles. 